Hi, my name is Geeta Nankani and I would like to give you an absolutely unedited, uncut opinion of why I think J. Fizet's JV Summit is the best thing since sliced bread. So, let me rewind to the beginning. So, I was introduced to Jay by a mutual friend of ours. I didn't know him. I did, I had just launched my business. So, I basically have an online course. I'm a former journalist with more than two decades of experience and I created an online course called Baby Got Booked to help people, entrepreneurs, experts do their own PR in a way that makes the media really want to work with them. I only tell you this because I want you to know what my product was going in. I had gotten to the point where the course was locked and loaded, everything was going great, I knew I was getting results, but I needed to get out of the baby pool and go and play with the big guys. And I know that the way to do that online is with joint ventures. It's all about the JV, but I had no idea where to start and I had no idea who to call. So when Carmen introduced me to Jay and I picked up the phone and spoke to him, <clears throat> at that point, by the way, I didn't even, I barely had the investment required in my bank account required to go to the JV Summit, including hotel and everything. It's not a lot of money, but I was at the point where cash flow was an issue. So I will put that on the table and I will tell you that although I had a teeny tiny list and I was very upfront about it with Jay, I was determined. I was hungry and I was determined that I was going to get out of the baby pool and go play with the big boys and I would do whatever I needed to do to do that. So I argued with my husband, bought that ticket and signed up for the JV Summit. So between the time I did that, so this would have been sometime in November, I think, and the JV Summit the last time was in Jan. So during that two month period, I freaked out quite a few times and wondered if I'd made the right decision and seriously considered bailing, by the way. So if you're feeling any of those things, know that it's perfectly normal, especially if you've never done something like this before. Luckily, I didn't. Luckily, I just sucked it up and went. And holy fucking crap, was it the best, best game-changing business investment I have ever made in my entire life. Just to give you a sense. Okay, so I went in, first of all, not even knowing how to structure a JV thing. Jace sent us a uh, template to fill out. I kind of filled it out, but then listening to the other people pitch their stuff, I tweaked mine, so by the time I was ready to present mine, it was very different. So first of all, I learned how to do that. But that's not the point. The point is, I went in thinking my $2,000 course was my high-end product and that I would have to create a bunch of lower-end products. No, 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 no. Turns out, just by, by masterminding with some of the other people there, many of whom play at a much, much, much higher level, just listening to them throw some figures around and just it being normal really helped shift my mindset. That I think is crucial. If you're an entrepreneur really wanting to hit it big time, you need to open your mind and shift your mindset. And I was looking for ways to do that. So that alone was worth the price of, of entry. My cat and my dog are playing in the background. There you go. This is a very entertaining video. It wasn't supposed to be, but there you go. Okay, so I'm going to keep going, okay? So here we go. So in terms of return on investment, I think what I paid for, I'm not going to say what I paid because I don't know what Jay is charging you now. Whatever it is, pay it with a big smile on your face because it's going to be worth every single penny. But I think when I paid it, it was a little bit over $1,000. I paid it. And then what I did was I had to buy hotel room I shared hotel with I shared my room with common with my friend to keep costs down I mean that's the cash flow place that I was at um, and I went in there and between the masterminding and the JV partnerships that came out of it just the masterminding alone some of the suggestions I got added I kid you not by the end of by the middle of Feb had added eighteen thousand dollars to my bottom line $18,000. That's my return on investment. And that was within a four week period. From then I've had a, a fabulous connection that has got me my first book deal. So I've hired a publisher giving me all kinds of services that I could not get any other way because we met each other, like each other, know we want to work together. This is, this is what I mean. The way that Jay has structured this is brilliant because first you get to look at what other people are doing in your space. So you get to learn from the best. Secondly, you get to get masterminded by some of the best. So it doesn't matter what level you're at, there's plenty of people who are playing at multi-levels in this group. You get to spend FaceTime with them. You're spending eight hours a day, all day with them. 
Plus, and here's the genius part, and I think Jay is so smart for having done this, there is some sort of off time where people go skiing, so I don't know whether it's going to be in the summer, they'll be kayaking probably, I don't know. Um, I, child of Mumbai, who has never downhill skied in my life, I learned how to fucking ski. So that was genius. And what's brilliant about it is the fact that when you're doing these off off business hours type activities together when you do physical activities together you get to see a side of people that you don't really get to see in the boardroom and the level of bonding that happens there is just magnificent so i made some really these are friends that i'm going to keep for life i'm pretty sure so there was that the high of learning how to ski of overcoming a fear a personal fear that i had amazing worth every cent of the investment each of these pieces is worth the investment i paid then, of course, I'm not even talking about the evening of wine tasting where Jay brings in a sommelier that he works with. I'm not even a big alcohol drinker at all, and I had a blast. So you can just imagine, if you are into wine, you're gonna, yeah. I'm just gonna leave it at that, okay. So, all this to say, I will give you three pieces of advice if you are considering doing this. And if you are in the online space, I don't understand why you wouldn't be considering doing this. Apply right now. That's my first piece of advice is pause this video, get off your ass, fill in that form and get on that list because many of us, myself included, so I'm putting my money where my mouth is. I'm not telling you to do something that I'm not going to do again, by the way. At the end of that JV summit, I paid my money in full for the next, to secure my spot for the next summit. So I'm going to be there. Okay. So I'm telling you to do something that I'm doing. So first of all, go secure your spot. Second of all, for the mastermind section, Having clarity around your problem, obstacle, issue, whatever it is you want to have everybody in the room brainstorm, you only have about five minutes to present. So being very, very clear about what you want people to help you with is crucial. I will say that because they are some of the most generous, smart, business advanced people that you are ever likely to meet. They're going to be in that room and they are super generous. They're willing to help you. They will do whatever you ask them to do to get you forward. So make sure that when you're asking a question, it's a good one, right? Tony Robbins says the quality of your life is determined by the quality of your questions. So ask a good question. And the third thing I would say is, I think the people who really got the most out of the JV Summit are the people who implemented the advice that they got. If you have somebody <clears throat> who's giving you a gift of, let's say, a follow-up coaching call, then make sure that you schedule that call and get that coaching. I mean, it's kind of a no brainer, but people don't do it. So don't just sit there on your ass and bask in the glow after the thing is done. Call, pick up the phone and call. If somebody gives you advice, freaking implement it. That's what I did. That's what's added so much money to my bottom line. And it's only growing, by the way, because I've barely scratched the surface. I'm, this video is being shot at the end of what, right at the very beginning of March. So it's been about six weeks since the JV Summit. I've already added upwards of $18,000 to my bottom line. That's just one piece. I have three different JV partnerships in play. Actually, I didn't even count the $5,000. I was invited to speak from uh, at, at a JV Partners event. That would never have happened. She invited me cold. She'd never seen me speak had no idea what I could do, but she was able to taste my energy just from being in the room with me. And she took a chance on me and invited me and I made her $5,000 and myself another five. And that's not even counting the 18 that I made separately from coaching income. So just putting that out there. Go, come. It's freaking amazing. It will change your life. Guaranteed. If you let it. I'll see you there.